netleşmesini sağlar mısın? Ha, öyle. Bir kere. Hı. Tamam, oldu herhalde. Tamam, çık. Ha, çekiyorsun şu an, okey. Okay, so we see here uh, great leukoplakia tissues, thick leukoplakias, and near to ureteric orifices we have leukoplakia here to near left ureteric orifice and here near the right ureteric orifice, and uh, this part is the margins comes to here and through the uretra. We have to stop here. And patchy tissues begin, I can say here. So these are really abundant leukoplakia tissues. When I look to the opposite wall, here is an a little reddish area compared to these side walls, but this is not too much. I think her bladder is well enough not affected too much but we will understand this after filling and emptying the bladder i will make a comment on this there is a bulge this is coming from uterus uh, uterus is uh, pushing the bladder so we can say when i look from a distance this area is a little reddish compared to side walls we will also break this part i am marking this Okay, now I will mark the borders of the leukoplakia here. Just focusing. This is the end of ill tissue. And here is the ureteric qualifies. I will come to here. Here there are still leukoplakias. I can't go very close to the territorifies. And these are our look bleeding. She has bleeding very frequently. This is because this, these tissues are very fragile and they are not impermeable to touch of acid. And in the upper part Deep inside, I can see here some leukoplakias in the upper part too. I don't know if it is visible in the screen, but in the telephone. But here also there are some leukoplakias. So I will, yes, here are some leukoplakias in the upper part. Yes, this is better now. These are the complications in the upper part. And now I will begin to do this part. Okay, when I when I scrape these tissues like this, you see they be, the bleeding becomes happens. So this is why she was having bleeding. When these tissues are distended, they are having bleeders. This is my uh, end order. And you see, when these tissues are scraped, they begin to bleed. That's why she was thought to have interstitial cystitis, but this is not an interstitial cystitis. It's a chronic cystitis related bladder problem. Everything begins with an infection with the chronic cystitis and then it became chronic and the bladder wall is inflamed so even there is no bacteria inside in the tests this lady was having pain because of the touch of urine acid into this unhealthy tissue so 
so when we integrate these tissues, no new bladder uh, mucosa will replace it, come over it, and uh, hopefully she will get rid of this disease. Still there are unhealthy tissues, but it is beyond my mark. I have to find out the urethric orifice. Okay, this is urethric orifice. I can figure this part. I can see some little islands of local plate here, here. And I hope the rest of the bladder is healthy. It seems so. I will make a control at the end. So base of the lecoplachia tissues are all fragile and unhealthy. Same thing here. This is the retinal orifice. I will not come to here. And uh, we have patchy tissues, the coplicias here. Let me scrape them. Look. When I scrape this tissue, this is not a healthy tissue. This will not happen to any tissue here when we do such things here. No, but here, look. Very abnormal. I just touched here and it become bleeding. When you because I cover this, I hope this problem will end. So I I don't I want to leave no uh, unhealthy tissue behind. I am curating all these parts. Touch makes them bleed. And look at the tissues coming out. These are the patches of abnormal tissues, islands of lipoblicus. They are coming out with full duration. And hopefully, the, the Underneath, underlying tissue is healthy. They will be replaced by a normal mucosa. This is the aim of our procedure. This lady used many, many antibiotics and painkillers for a very long time, but she couldn't heal. So that's why we are breathing. the fulguration. This is our border here. We come near to this end. And uh, backwards here, these are healthy tissue. And here, the other urethra orifice is here. We fulgurated these parts. And there were some tissues in the upper part of the urethra. We fulgurated these. And the rest of the bladder, there was inflammation in the uh, opposite wall which is coming into touch with the trigon when the bladder is empty. Here we did a fulguration. And uh, other than that, the rest of the bladder was healthy. So I am not uh, having too much worry about the rest of the bladder and I hope a good uh, recovery for her. Uh, just I will check the vaginal part and we'll finish now. Uh, and there's retra, I checked the retra. It seems healthy, no skin and gland infection, no problems. Okay, this is cervix uteri, uh, the opening of the uterus to vagina. It seems quite healthy, no problem, no sign of infection, inflammation. It seems good and the vaginal uh, mucosa seems okay. No problem with vaginal epithelium.